Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for a very special edition of the show. Uh, I've got three gentlemen, well I don't know about gentlemen, but I've got three guys here from uh, Slow Down Wines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slow Down Wines. i got Chip, Brandon, and Bo. Uh, they uh, they uh, created a wine called Sexual Chocolate, which that you know makes me think of the movie, uh, what was it, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker? Or whatever Coming it was. Coming America. 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 Yeah. yeah. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sexual Chocolate. So. Uh, I love the name and uh, the varietals are two varietals I absolutely love, Zin and, and Syrah. And uh, so I'm real excited to, uh, to try this and I've got them on here. We're, gonna do a, we're doing a live interview here. This is also going through Justin TV. So uh, if you missed it, too bad, but you're getting to see this here. Um, we'll see how the live green screen works. I mean, I got a little bit of black behind me on the green screen, but uh, we got that. And I've got uh, these gentlemen here or these guys here. So. Um, why don't, uh, why don't you guys tell me about yourself, who, you know, who's who, and how, uh, how you all met and all that. Oh, well, it was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. Love that. Uh, no, uh, Brandon and I met in college um, when we had to plant a vineyard for somebody, and uh, we needed more manpower. So Brand Brandon's got a big old truck because he has a small little... And uh, and uh, that's how we started hanging out and uh, started making wine and selling it in the dorms. Nice. So uh, it, it was it was a uh, wonderful wine, right? What's that? It was it was great, wonderful wine, right? Oh, uh, when we were first making it, it was, uh, it was yeah. We we're making it pretty much in a bathtub. So. <laughs> nice. Let's just say we've come a long way. <laughs> but at the time, it was incredible. It was right. Very big. <laughs> so, uh, so how long ago was that? It was like six years now, yeah, seven years. Freshman year, yeah. Uh, oh four, oh five. Oh four, oh five. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, uh, how long did it take you to kind of get what what we have here as far as this product? Well, I don't know, every six every, years. Every, every, <laughs> six every year, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Um, so, the. Uh, uh, all this stuff is uh, coming out of California. Do you have do you just source it out from wherever wherever you can get the wine or get wherever you get the grapes, or do you kind of a, a couple of places that you try to always get the grapes from? Uh, yeah. So when we plant the vineyard, it's on its sixth, fifth leaf right now. So we're getting the Syrah from the vineyard that we planted down in Santa Barbara. I don't know where he went. Uh, we from the Syrah that we're getting down in Santa Barbara, and then about. Maybe like three years ago, I used to live in Australia, and my roommate, his dad there, has a vineyard up in Howell Mountain, up in Napa. Okay. And we used to go steal his grapes at night and make wine out of that when we were. <laughs> I did read that on the website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope nobody watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me edit that out real quick. Um. Yeah, but so yeah, so it's Zinvindel from up there in Howell Mountain. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good stuff. Um. With uh, what else was I going to talk about? Um, where 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 did you come up with the name? Besides that, it's just a, a pretty darn cool name. Uh, we're you know I was just drunk one night. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. We actually so you know Chip and I kind of when we started making wine, we really the first thing Chip came up with the label, and that was that was on the very first bottle of wine that we ever made, and we never really had a name. Um, <laughs> for, for, for about for our, like the first two vintages, we never had a name, and then um, finally we got to the point where we had made about four barrels of wine, and uh, that was like at our that our was peak. at our peak really when we were just kind of making wine in the backyard and. Um, and we were like, shoot, man, we should probably name this stuff, you know. And, and each, so each we, barrel tasted different, yeah, too, each, so we needed four names. Each barrel, actually, um, 
Each girl was different. Yeah, each girl was um, different. Wow. And so, so yeah, we came up with the name Sexual Chocolate, Wingman, uh, Midnight Blush, and Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah. And then <laughs> Sexual Chocolate really just stuck. You know, everybody loved it. So um, that's what we that's what we rolled into our very and first actual viable product. And we only we all, when we started we only had enough money to make one label because like each label is like twenty five cents. Okay. So we only had, or maybe it was like fifty cents. I don't know what. It, so we only had enough money to make one label, so we print the back one, the handwritten part, and then just have girls write in the name on like 300 bottles. Like it would be either like Kryptonite or Midnight Blush or Sexual Chocolate with a Sharpie on it. So we saved a lot of money that way. Nice. So um, as far as your backgrounds, how did you, how did you get into winemaking? Um, did did you, any of you go to UC Davis or anything like that, or you just kind of fell into it? Well, we we go to a we went to a school better than UC Davis. Ah, okay, yeah. there you go. Paul, go Mustangs! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, what got you interested in the wine, other than just you know it's great to drink? Um, I mean, I, it was pretty much Chip. Chip went on a wine tasting trip. He was a, he started out as a kinesiology major, and uh, he went on a wine tasting trip, and he came back the next day, and he was like. Dude, I'm changing my major to wine and viticulture. I'm gonna be a winemaker. <laughs> and it was like he did. And then after that, it was kind of like, I was like, all right, that sounds good to me. And so we just, I, I'm, I'm ag business. He's wine and vit. And, um, I mean, it's free booze and yeah. chicks love it. Girl, so. Girls, girls, <laughs> they, they appreciate it. More. So it's it's, it's kind of like you know being in a band. Uh, yeah. yeah. A little less work, so we, and we get to drink our music. Yeah, right, you get to drink the music. But you know, the the point is, you know, you get into a band to be, you know, get get the chicks, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some tasting here. Uh, this is uh, this one's from 2010. Uh, oh, what's the point? Well, not the point, but uh, I see on the label you had 11.2. Uh, then you scratched it out and 14 and a half alcohol. <laughs> well, I, I, honestly, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> What's the point otherwise? <laughs> well, I mean, hey, I mean, it's Zin, it's Syrah, 14 and a half, it's good stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it tastes better. Right. Um, and I just, I just like the whole thing in the back. I don't know, let's see if I can get, if I can get a good shot of it. Just the whole handwritten stuff on there. Um, and that the French are annoying. <laughs> I love that little part. Hey, I, I went to France. I had a great time there. I didn't think they were that annoying, but you know, there was that one guy. <laughs> He's try to bail. step on it. Yeah. Oh my dude, there was the one guy on the train. He wouldn't let me on because I was late, and I was like, "No, dude, you were late." But I didn't say that because I didn't want to be an annoying American. And then, you know, it was, it was, it was a, it was a fun first day in France. Other than that, I had a great time. But uh, all right, so um, we're gonna check this out. Um, I know you guys have had this a million times. God, I hope it's a good bottle. <laughs> He's like, God. well, it's it's you know it's uh it's settled a bit you know it hasn't it hasn't been roughed up too much I'm sure it's all right. It doesn't smell like vinegar, so that's that's a good that's a good start. <laughs> good, oh, that's, that's a good start. That, yeah. <laughs> now I'm getting some like darker fruits on it. Um, really liking that. I'm sure because the name says sexual chocolate, I'm getting a little chocolate out of it. It might be a little. Subliminal, Subliminal yeah, a little suggestive, a little suggestive, but you know, I, I get that out of it. Really, kind of the cherries and all that, uh, starting off good. I know. Don't you dare spit that out. Why are you what spitting are you that doing? out? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Screw it. Hold on. Sick. <laughs> That's some damn good juice right there. Let me tell you that right now, down here in Texas. Um, no, man, it's good. Um, Thank you. Thank you. I, mean, I like it. I like it a lot, man. It's better, right? That's how they do it where I'm from. That's right, what, Louisville? Somewhere around there? Yeah. Up, up north. Up north somewhere. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, like, the raspberries really more than, like, cherries. So I get some nice fruit on it. It's not like... I don't feel like I'm, I'm biting it into a tree trunk, so it's not like huge amounts of oak in there, but I mean, I'm getting that, that raspberry, maybe a little bit of the vanilla and a little bit of the chocolate. Um, 
it's not too hot. I mean, I know it's 14 and a half, but it's not like it's, it's not like there's alcohols all over the place. So it feels pretty contained. Um, and I think it's got some good balance to it. Um, I like it. I mean, if I was, if, if, uh, I was, someone was asking me about something to buy, I'd, I'd say, Hey man, buy this stuff. So, um, you know, I think, I think it tastes pretty good. I mean, I think you guys do, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> better say it's good. <laughs> I mean, there's very few wines I've, I've hated. I've had a few I've hated, but um, or really didn't like. But this is not in that category. I mean, this is a wine that I would, if I was at, if I saw on the shelf, I'd buy it. So, awesome, um, awesome. you know, I think it's some good stuff. Um, what does this normally retail for? Twenty, twenty to twenty-two bucks. Yeah, twenty to twenty-two bucks. Okay, so yeah. that's it's it's pretty much in line with anything else out there. For I mean, it's uh, it, it drinks like it. So I mean, it's not like. It's not like, you know, it's a, it's a $40 bottle of wine. I'm like going, dude, this is like 10 bucks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Can I buy it for 10 bucks at Costco, you know? I mean, it, it, it drinks like a $20 bottle of wine. So, I mean, it's that, to me, that price is not, is not totally, um, totally you know, ridiculous. I think it's completely fair. So, um, uh, I don't think it's, you know, uh, overpriced, let's put it that way. Um, but, yeah, I mean, really, I like the raspberry flavor a lot. Uh, like, you get a little bit of that oak, but um, it's not overpowering. And um, again, the alcohol doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't uh, it's not overpowering anything. I mean, it's really contained. I know, right? You know, because I mean, <laughs> well, you know, it throws me off. <laughs> you know, fourteen and a half, fifteen percent alcohol. You know, you start going, oh, okay, man, is this like liquor? Or is this wine? You know, if uh, <laughs> sometimes. So, um, no, good job with that. Uh, you know, I've I've had some wines that are a little bit hot. I mean, literally hot, and you're like, okay, this isn't good. You know, What's the point? I mean. Yeah. I mean, I want to get, if I want to get drunk, that's cool, but, you know, I want to kind of enjoy it. <laughs> I don't want mouth to burn from it. I mean, I'll do that. I'll drink tequila. So, um, what is next for you guys? Um, more of this? Are you going to branch out anywhere or? No, no we're yeah. going to stick yeah. with just one wine. No, yeah. we're, we're only going to make one wine. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Well, we're next. We're doing. We're only one. making one wine. <laughs> we're doing our next bottling with sexual chocolate. We're trying to focus on this for now, right. but um, we definitely have some other labels in the works. Um, but that's not not going to be for at least at least another couple of weeks. Couple of weeks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple of weeks, you know. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, move quick. So lock up your daughters. <laughs> yeah, who who had the one about saying, "God, I hope I don't have any daughters." There was a picture somewhere. <laughs> all, all, all of us. <laughs> all, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, guys, I mean, I, I really do like the wine. I mean, if if um, to everyone who's out there watching on their on their couch on TiVo, because that's where most of the viewers are at. But uh, to, all, to anyone watching out there, if you find this, I'd say buy it. It's going to be a good. It's going to be a good bottle of wine just to have around and 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 have a good have a good drink from and get a little buzz from. Yeah. <laughs> but um, definitely some good stuff. Uh, is there anything you guys want to talk about with with the wine or the winery or anything like that? Oh, about the wine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're. I, I know you told people to buy it, but they better buy it in the next like month. <laughs> because all, all of our accounts um, are going to be out of wine in about a month to nice. a, uh, about thirty to forty-five days from now. Okay. Um, we're just we're just gonna we only made so much, and uh, apparently other people like it too. So we're just gonna be uh, we're gonna be out of wine until the two thousand eleven comes out. Which, it looks like we'll probably be out of wine for maybe a month and a half to two yeah. months. Okay. Um, just because we we sold it. It sold out much faster than we had I can't believe anybody buys it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of, how, how many cases did you produce? Yeah, but yeah, no, it, it tastes, it tastes delicious and uh, yeah, we, we drink it every day. So that's got to say something. Um, how, many, how many cases did you produce of this? Uh, 2,300. 2,300, okay. And 2011 can be about the same? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully more? Five thousand? Yeah. yeah, maybe five thousand. Yeah. So we'll try and we'll try and bump it up. We're, we're bumping up the production and the alcohol content. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so uh, um, 
where, where do you normally distribute? Uh, is it mostly out of California or do you have a lot of other states you're, you, your distributors are handling? Yeah, yeah well, I, we're all in California right now. Yeah, we're basically um, all in California. But uh, you can buy it if you live in Arizona or New York, or if you happen to be visiting Hong Kong, you can buy it there also. <laughs> nice. Hong Kong, how'd you get that? Yeah. Well, we lost a pallet in the, yeah. in the, in the river. And yeah, it just <laughs> showed up there. The next showed up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. And then um, yeah, they, they can buy off your website too, right? Yeah, he's on the website. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that how he picked this up? Yeah. 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 Cool. cool. Yeah, you can buy it online. Or cool. Well, I mean, I'll definitely, I'll definitely link it up. I'll definitely put a link on, on the website for anyone to uh, to head head over there. But it's it's pretty easy, pretty easy uh, name to figure out. Slow down wines. S L O down wines. Um, but uh, just there'll be a link below uh, at the website, so you can click that. Um, and then I'll probably in the video I'll have the actual website name that's posted on the website, so um, you'll have that. But um, yeah, guys, I mean this is awesome. I mean this is the point of doing these Skype interviews is I get to talk to to the guys who are making the wine, drink a little bit of it, you know, instead of be like, oh well, I think this wine's got a little bit of this in it, a little bit of that, and it tastes like <laughs> shit, you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's good to be able to sit with with the people who make the wine, even if it's a you know a thousand miles away. And, and instead of me having to fly out to California or you having to fly out to Texas, um, I mean the cost of a bottle of wine is, is really all it is. And um, you know, yeah, I've got a few wineries in the backyard, effectively. But uh, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to do the Skype thing. I mean, I've talked to people yeah. in Portugal and Washington, and it's it's cool. So I really appreciate it. Uh, the can and I. I'm glad you have a really nice webcam because uh, some of the some of the laptop cameras really are pretty crappy. <laughs> so that that'll help with the quality of the video. Um, Professional furnishings provided by Apple. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I've got my iMac going and you know all my all my other crap. Uh, probably not getting an iPad three though. So I don't really need it. I got the regular old iPad. I don't understand what's so good about it. Like it doesn't seem any different. You know. Uh, Honestly, if it, if it actually had Siri instead of dictation, that might actually be something. But the only reason I really even want something would be for connectivity if I wasn't in Wi-Fi. But I don't bring my iPad anywhere that doesn't have Wi-Fi anyway. So I don't need it. He doesn't ride the train, okay? That's what he's saying. <laughs> I ride the train a lot. Hey, why don't you two nerds go over to the, uh, <laughs> to the other channel and have your own fucking tech blog? Yeah, yeah, I used to, yeah man. I live in Chicago. I used to ride the train all the time, man. It was, it was great yeah. to have these things. But, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not, it's not $500 cool enough for me, so. <laughs> That's $500 cool, that wine right there. Yeah. This right yeah, here $500. is $500 cool. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I'll be putting the explicit tag on this for iTunes today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, guys, it's it's Is it really? <laughs> it's uh it's been real great to to have you on. Um, just uh really appreciate it. Really appreciate you uh, taking some time out of your day, sending me the wine. Um, I'll be drinking the rest of this tonight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> drink hopefully, it. hopefully not alone. Uh, I've got I got people to share it with, so um, I'll be I drinking this tonight for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got some peeps. A couple. Nice. They're marshmallow, but you know, <laughs> they look like they look I like little it. chicks. Like, <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, again, thank you for coming in. Uh, and uh, as far as any, you know, wrapping everything up, uh, I just want to thank uh, all the viewers. Thank you very much. Uh, as always, stop by the website. Click all the links as far as friending me up. Uh, there'll be a link again for the website down below. Um, and uh, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, gentlemen. See you, Mike. Yeah. All right.